Well, Trent, let's start with that win. I know it was a little back and forth through the game, but how'd you feel about it? What did you like? Yeah, no, I, th I thought it was kind of an ugly game out there, you know, uh, kind of a quiet uh, game, but uh, and their power play was extremely dangerous. We saw that, and uh, so we have to do a better job of that, that's for sure. But I thought five on five, we did a pretty good job throughout the periods and, uh, and kind of found a way just to stick with it. Mark Russell grabbing that winning goal as well. What has he added to this team for a Calgary boy? Two goals in three games, so good for him. No, I mean, he's come in, uh, he's, he's done a really good job in the East Coast League this year, and I thought uh, he's played well and contributed to our, our group right away. What did you see out of Oliver today? Yeah, no, I thought he had a good game. All around solid, you know, skating well, uh, handling the puck, you know, and then uh, I thought he was good in D-zone coverage. Just watching live, I thought it was, it was a good performance for him. You said you just wanted, you know, it was at this point, it was just go out and play hockey. Uh, did he did, did he feel like he just looked comfortable and, and was enjoying himself? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you guys probably watched him more than I did. I mean, I was uh, coaching a few other guys out there too, but no, I mean, I, I mean, he was uh, he was fine. He, I thought he, like I said, I thought he looked comfortable. Uh, we had I saw a couple uh, smiles, you know, on the bench there a little bit, and uh, you know, I, I I thought he was solid in our power play. I mean, we didn't uh, convert, but uh, I thought he uh, he contributed. Going back to Russell, just you don't see guys come up from the ACHL and play in a top six or middle six role very often. But what has allowed him to translate so well? Uh, well, the coach give him a chance, I guess you'd say, and then uh, I'm just teasing. But no, you know what? Uh, he's a guy who's he was the top five scorer in the East Coast League. So you know, I'm not going to put him on the fourth line or whatever. I'm not saying, but I just I wanted to put him in a place to succeed. Uh, we're bringing a guy in, and uh, I thought he did that, and he had a little uh, scoring punch, and he's got some poise, and he's playing with poise in the East Coast League. So it, it, I think it's just a good to try to get him into a situation where he can show that here. Lucas Siona gets his second of the year tonight. Just what's the trajectory been with him this year? Uh, I'm not. I I don't know the trajectory. I just I've liked that he's steadily improving. I think the the whole kind of uh, details of his game, uh, fundamentals have gotten better. Uh, he drives the net. He go, he's getting there. He's having more confidence. I think more time with the puck on a stick in the O zone, and that was awesome today. You know, it's good for him to get rewarded because I think he's been overall doing a, a quietly a solid job the last 10, 15 games for us. Four point swing, big opportunity to take the sweep tomorrow night. Uh, some of the important things that you want to clean up. Uh, especially teams, uh, you know, they won that battle tonight, so we want to be better with that for sure. But I mean, I thought there were some good things for us to, to build on five on five. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not sure we see the same goalie, but uh, I thought we had some good looks against them tonight too. Well, Coach, you're actually two for two when your dog is at the arena in the morning. Does that say anything about this team? I guess I'm going to have to get that dog growing up so I can get here and start hanging out a little more with the boys for sure. No, that's good. Perfect. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate Thanks, guys. It.